the astronomical event of the decade is coming on April 8th, a total eclipse of the sun. And we're here to show you how to view this eclipse safely with kids and families in mind. You ready, Jack? Ready. So the moon is orbiting around the earth and on the day of the eclipse, the outer part of the moon's shadow is gonna to first touch the earth at the Pacific Ocean. Then the shadow is gonna move over towards Mexico, up the United States, across the Great Lakes, over here where we live, and then over to Atlantic Canada. And then the eclipse will be over when the shadow moves on. Before we get started, there's one important rule to always keep in mind, which is that it's never safe to stare directly at the sun. The sun has wavelengths of light that our eyes can't see, like infrared radiation, for example, which can still do damage to the retina, even if you're not feeling it happen. In preparation for the eclipse, many people have already ordered or have received some of these kinds of eclipse viewers or glasses that basically you can place over your eyes and they will filter out the damaging rays from the sun. If you're going to use these, however, make sure they have the appropriate certification. There's an ISO number that should be printed on the glasses that you should look for. So Jack, I'm going to show you how to put these glasses on, and this is a good note for parents and for other adults who are with children during the eclipse. Okay, so we're going to fold our glasses like this, and we're going to put them on, but look down, look down, and then once they're over your eyes, over your glasses, look straight up, and then you can find the sun. And then look away to take them off. And if you see any holes or scratches in these things, don't use them. Tell someone. Don't count on sunglasses to look at the sun during the eclipse. Sunglasses will not provide you with sufficient protection. You may have heard that welder's glass can be used to watch the sun during eclipse. That is correct with an important caveat. It has to be number 14 welder's glass. Do not use a lower number. And if you don't see a number on the welder's glass, don't use it because you won't be sure exactly the darkness of the glass. If you do know that you have a piece of number 14, they come in rectangular sizes like this. They can be obtained from a welding supply company, for example. This is sufficient to look at the sun safely if it's number 14. It's easier to put them in a cardboard holder like this. I have a souvenir from the 2017 total eclipse and you can look at the eclipse this way using a little welder's glass window or if you want to get fancy you can have your welder's goggles on like this. I see a tiny yellow dot in the sky about right uh, there and, it, and when I'm looking at it it's not curving. What if you don't have any viewers for looking at the sun safely? It's still possible to enjoy the eclipse with children by using indirect means called pinhole projection. This involves not looking at the sun directly, but projecting the image of the sun onto a white card like this. So here I have two pinholes, and as I pull the projector away, you can see the image of the sun, two suns, one for each hole, taking shape. Can you see that, Jack? Yep. Yeah. You might be wondering, Jack, isn't this just the outline of the circular holes? Well, here, you try this. Here's a hole that is a rectangle in shape. And it's, you notice how when we turn the cardboard, it doesn't change the shape. This is how you know you're really looking at the sun and not the outline of the hole. And of course, you don't need to have just one pinhole. You can have lots of holes, like from a piece of pegboard. Or uh, how about this, Jack? Do you know what this is? It's for straining pasta, usually, for spaghetti, but it can also become an eclipse projector, and you're seeing lots and lots of little suns. During the eclipse, that will be lots of little crescents or lots of little cookie bites when you start to see the progress of the eclipse through anything that has holes in it. And for that matter, you don't even need this. Watch this. You can do it with your own body, your own fingers. You can make little holes, and then as you back away, that becomes a way to project the sun too. Just like that. I go for circles. Here's one more method. If you have a pair of binoculars around the house, do not look at the sun through binoculars. That would be extraordinarily dangerous. However, you can use your binoculars to project a brighter image of the sun than you would get with a pinhole. So basically you would have the binoculars kind of in the middle of their focal range, have your screen ready, and then find the sun using your binoculars. There we go, just like that. And you can project 
a picture of the sun. Again, during eclipse, what we're seeing here is the round sun. During eclipse, you'll see a sun with a bite taken out of it or a crescent sun, and you can get quite nice images of the sun projected in this way through binoculars. This is only for adults to use or with children under adult supervision. Do not look at the sun while there is any portion of the sun's surface visible. However, if you are inside the path of the total eclipse and there comes a moment when the sun is completely hidden by the moon, you can actually take off your glasses and look at the sun's corona, the atmosphere around the sun, around the dark silhouette of the moon safely. You can do this without protection, but only for a few minutes because very soon the moon will move away and the total eclipse will be over. At its most, it will be about three and a half minutes for locations in Canada. Okay, Jack, are you ready to see the eclipse now? Yes, I'm ready. What's the one thing we don't want to see during eclipse day? People looking straight at the sun without their, uh, without, and without the proper protection. Also, people looking through binoculars at the sun. Right. We it will hurt even more. We don't want to see that. What's one other thing we don't want to see in eclipse day? I'll give you a hint. It tends to be white and fluffy or gray and dark. Clouds. We do not want to see clouds. Fingers crossed, and I hope everyone has a safe and happy eclipse. At first I thought you meant marshmallows. <laughs>